Welcome to our video on how Black Moon Lilith mean, that's the average, the calculations, and Black Moon Lilith oscillating, or true Lilith calculations, how they deviate from one another, as well as how these divergent calculations will affect the riots and the protests and the violence or the passivity thereof from October 21st of 2020 until July 18th of 2021. This is very important. Now, all coordinates in this video will be using universal time coordinated and also using tropical astrology. Now, the following forecast is based on my own personal opinion as an astrologist. So here we go. Now, the coordinates of Black Moon Lilith and also the the this is the average or the mean okay but also we're going to be looking at black moon lilith true or or oscillating and we're going to take a look at october 21st 2020 we're using universal time coordinated and we're using tropical astrology this is the the black moon lilith mean average again here at zero degrees zero minutes in taurus and we're also going to take a look at true oscillating black moon Lilith and that's at 17 degrees one minute here in Aries and it's it's retrograde uh, the the oscillating or true Lilith will be retrograde and in Aries on the same day on October 21st of 2020 so these are the, the two different kinds that we're dealing with right now and there are uh, several different kinds of Lilith. Actually, if, if you look at all of them, there's actually five of them. One more obscure than the other ones, maybe, but because people talk about there being four, but there's actually five different variables of this Lilith energy. And at the end, we're going to give you a, you know, just a definition of all five of them. But for now, we're going to focus on the Black Moon Lilith mean average, which is the average of the oscillations of this one. This is the one that zigzags, and this is the one that is the average or the smoothed out lines of the zigzag lines of this one. So this one's going to seem to move. This, this one is a, again, it's a mean, it's an average. It's going to seem to move more smoothly from Aries to Taurus to Gemini, on and on like that. But the, the, tr what, what, Black Moon Lilith truly does, that's why they call it true Lilith or oscillating Lilith, is move back and forth between Taurus and Aries and it kind of zigzags around, you know, like that. So it's important to understand both of them. And that's because on October 21st, 2020, when Black Moon Lilith mean or average moves into Taurus, the the protests and the violence of, of Black Lives Matter are going to be seeming to be more about ownership and less about violence, less, less about, you know, it being about how you appear to others and the self and about violence, more about ownership. Because Aries is money, uh, excuse me, other, other way around. Aries is uh, self and appearances and has a very competitive edge to it because it's ruled by Mars. And then we have Taurus ruled by Venus, which has, which has to do with money and possessions, natural second house, opposed to natural first house. And to those of you who think this looks like Pallas, the asteroid, it, it really doesn't because Pallas has a shorter stem and it's also not, it, it's also just an outline. It's not darkened in here. But this one is, is an official black moon Lilith, true oscillating Lilith, uh, this one here. This is what it looks like. So, just to differentiate this from palace, you know what the difference is. If it was palace, this would be shorter, and this would be all white inside here, and this would just be an outline, okay? The diamond would just be an outline. So, this is the difference. Now, to get into this further, although it's going to seem like Black Moon Lilith mean average is in Taurus, and everything's less violent and more sort of nailed down, the true oscillating Lilith is going to be going back and forth between things, you know, making more wild moves. So sometimes there may be like this covering or this blanket of, of 
black moon Lilith mean being in Taurus, but there's going to be an undercurrent every now and then of this violent energy coming back and then some new energies coming in later on. So we're going to take a look at two important dates with, with, with Black Moon Lilith. And those two important dates are October 21st. And, and then again, we're going to also look at the July 18th. We have another chart for that one. This, is, this one is for both, both of these aspects. They're both theoretical, mathematical calculation points. They're not really fictitious. They're theoretical. And there's, you know, if, if, if these are fictitious, then so is all mathematics is fictitious too. If, if you're going to say these are fictitious, because they're theoretical points. Okay, so, and we'll get into the, the, the again, all five Liliths and the direct and specific, the specific uh, definitions of those later on in this video. So stay tuned, because it's important. Now, on the October 21st, 2020, we are, we're going to have this Black Moon Lilith will ingress into, into Taurus at zero degrees, zero minutes. And that's going to happen at 8.51 a.m. And again, UTC, Tropical Astrology, for all of these coordinates and calculations in this video. While the Black Moon Lilith oscillating or true on the same date of October 21st, 2020, will be in Aries at 17 degrees, one minute, and will be retrograde. That's why it's going to be going back and forth. It goes retrograde direct, retrograde direct, because it's zigzagging. Whereas this one is just going smoothly around. And you see there, this year it's not retrograde, okay? On October 21st, 2020. So that's very important. This is a symbol for Black Moon Lilith Mean and symbol for Black Moon Lilith True Oscillating Lilith here. Now we're going to continue to look at the chart that I prepared for you, which is the is the July 18th astrology chart for, again, UTC Tropical for the Black Moon Lilith Mean, Average and True Oscillating Black Moon Lilith. Again, the symbols are here, the mean and the oscillating are true here. And we have, we have, I'll bring it in just a little closer for you here for this one. Okay. Because I had to write smaller in here because it was close to the edge of the paper here. So we have the coordinates of Black Moon Lilith uh, for July 18th. And this is a, I hope I didn't say 2020 because 2021, excuse me. Yeah, this, this one is for, for 2021. I might have said 2020 out of habit, excuse me. But it's July 18th, 2021. All right, and that's for these two aspects, these two theoretical points. Now we have uh, therefore we, we have a situation on July 18th of 2021, where Black Moon Lilith mean average will be at zero degrees, zero minutes in Gemini, which is substantial contrast to the Black Moon Lilith oscillating true being at 26 degrees, 27 minutes in Gemini. So you see how they're not the same. And the oscillating will be retrograde at that time and just uh, it, but it will be uh, just turning to be honest with you it'll be just turning back into a retrograde station on this day so on 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 July 18th of 2021 this black moon Lilith true oscillating will be it will be direct up until the 18th of July 2021 and then on the 18th of July 2021, it will turn retrograde, turning back to being retrograde. All right. Now, therefore, and we mentioned we have this uh, Black Moon Lilith mean average being at zero degrees Gemini, zero 
zero minutes. Therefore, although Black Moon Lilith Mean moving into Taurus on October 21st, okay, until July 18th, 2021, and then on that day, it, it also, a portion of that day, it ingresses into Gemini. So it's going to be in Taurus for that whole time, which is why we chose that, that time and date. Indicates a phase of less violence in general, since the mean is an average calculation of the Black Moon Lilith zigzag oscillations of true or oscillating Black Moon Lilith. True or oscillating Black Moon Lilith. Uh, there will nevertheless be periods when the violence associated with Black Moon Lilith in Aries, back in October, which we're coming up to, yeah, of 2020, will be dangerous. There will be a dangerous undercurrent beneath an apparent calm surface. So you're going to have an apparent calm surface of Black Moon Lilith mean average going into Taurus and then into Gemini uh, from October 2021 here until until the July 1820 I keep doing this I keep mix, mixing up the, the year so I'll say it again October 21 2020 this black moon Lilith mean will will be going from going through Taurus and moving into Gemini and so that shows you that it will seem like it's got a smooth sailing, but there will be, could be a violent undercurrent between October 21st of 2020 and July 18th of 2021 because this zigzagging of, of black moon Lilith oscillating or true of it going back and forth wildly like this, there will be times when when it becomes violent again under the surface okay now these interludes should be anticipated and understood if civilization is to be maintained in a diplomatic fashion because as as it goes back here after it's been here you know if it, it it's going to you know people who are only looking at the mean average are might be taken off guard or caught unawares now, the Black Moon Lilith, true oscillating Lilith, does move into Taurus on October 31st. So on, on, I didn't make a chart for this, but I'm just telling you, on Halloween of 2020, this year, uh, in a direct transit, the oscillating won't be retrograde. It will be in, it will be in, it will move into Taurus in a direct transit. That's the true. That's this one. It's going to move like this on the 31st. That's 10 days after, after the black moon Lilith mean moves into Taurus. So understand that it's a substantial contrast to, to the, the black moon Lilith true oscillating being at 26 degrees, 27 minutes in Gemini, just turning back into the retrograde station. So we have on, on October 31st, 2020, on Samhain, the, the Black Moon Lilith oscillating True Lilith will be back into Taurus in direct transit. And then it's going to go back into Aries in a retrograde transit on November 20th, 2020. So on November 20th, 2020, we're going to have... Uh, this true oscillating black moon Lilith, the one that zigzags and is, is the, cur the true undercurrent, is going to go to Aries, into Aries, in a retrograde, retrograde station on November 20th of 2020, in a, again, voyaging retrograde. So, so although th this black moon Lilith mean average is going to go smoothly on Oct Oct October, October uh, 21st of 2020 into here, and then move into here, the edge of, of Gemini, on July 18, 2021, and it'll seem smooth. This one, oscillating true Black Moon Lilith, is going to go into Taurus, 
It's going to be going, it's going to be here, and it's going to move into Taurus. So it's going to be here on, on this is October 21st, but it, this, this Black Moon Lilith oscillating, or true, will be moving into Taurus, but it will be direct at that time on the 31st, on, on Halloween. Okay? And then this is going, it's going to, it's going to be, it's going to go from, it's going to move, it's going to be in, in Taurus on November 20th, voyaging in a retrograde fashion. So it, so this one is going to be all over the place. This one is going to be in Taurus on Halloween in a direct transit. And then this, this one is going to go back into Aries in a retrograde on November 20th of 2020. Very important. Now be aware that there are some ephemerises that I've seen that use, that use the Black Moon Lilith mean average symbol when they are actually referring to the Black Moon Lilith true oscillating calculations. I've seen that get mixed up in some ephemerises. So understand that. If you see a black moon Lilith that is not going, that, that, that is going retrograde and, and is going back and forth, you know you're looking at this one. They might have this symbol, but they're actually talking about this one. They might have the symbol for the mean, the mean average, but they're, they're actually talking about or showing uh, calculations for the black moon Lilith oscillating and true. So it's very important to keep these things in mind. Also, with that said, we're going to now discuss the, the five different types of, of Lilith that, that you could become aware of as you, if you start to study Lilith and, and her very, you know, the first wife of Adam and the consort of Samael, Seraphim Samael of Mars. And it's very important because when she's here, her consort is, is Seraphim Samael of Mars who rules over Aries. So understand, she's right at home here and she's, she's fiery. So she, she's not going to be any kind of a pushover at that time when she'll be going back in, into Aries in November of uh, November 20th of 2020. Now, there are four different Liliths that, they, that many people talk about in astrology. But in actuality, there are, f there are five. Now, two of these four Liliths have to do with the moon with which we are familiar. So, the true oscillating and the, the mean average black moon Liliths have to do with theoretical points of the moon. And there's a third Lilith that has to do with the moon also, which is another shadowy moon, which a variety of people or groups have declared to have witnessed. So some people do feel that, this, that there is a, a third Lilith, which is an actual physical moon, although it's shadowy which many people and different groups and cults have declared and said that they have witnessed and seen physically with their eyes. Now, the fourth Lilith is an asteroid. So, the reason I say there's five is because some people, they put these two together and count that as one, and the, other, the others make, you know, the other three are going to have that become uh, four. But if you separate them all completely, then there's five. So the, the fifth one, uh, some people to add this though, the, the fifth one that is not having anything to do with a moon or the moon is, is a star. And then there's another one, there's a fourth one, which is the asteroid Lilith. There's an asteroid Lilith. Okay? Now, these are the definitions of the five Liliths. First, the black moon Lilith mean, this one, is the average of the true zigzag movements or oscillations of the mathematical calculations of the moon's apogee. 
black moon lilith oscillating or true is the true zigzag movements what we discussed with you or oscillations of the mathematical calculations of the moon's apogee then there is something that is called a dark moon lilith walder mass and dark moon lilith Waldermath is described as another mysterious second moon orbiting the Earth, which various individuals have said that they have actually physically seen, which has not yet been proven objectively by science. And the fourth is an asteroid Lilith, is a physical asteroid with which, which has been proven objectively by science. Asteroid Lilith is proven objectively by science. And fifth, uh, the Hebrew Lilith star is yet another Lilith up in the night sky. This star is also named the demon star Algol, which is the head of the Gorgon Medusa found in the constellation of Perseus, fixed in all astro astrology charts at 26 degrees Taurus. Now Perseus beheaded Medusa to slay the Kraken so that he could rescue his love Andromeda from being sacrificed to the Kraken. Now in Greek legend, the Stygian witches told the hero Perseus that he could turn the Kraken into stone if the sea monster beheld the head of the Gorgon Medusa. Now before we get to the end of this, I would also like to, to take a moment to show you the, the, the way the symbols look for these five Liliths which we have just discussed. And we'll get to that in a moment here. All right, I'm going to go over these four Liliths for you again, and I'm going to, uh, going to show you some of my notes that I made of the symbols so that you can see this is what Medusa's head looks like, and we'll get to that when we get to Algol or Hebrew Lilith. Uh, that it's, it's, has to do with being uh, in Perseus and Medusa. So we're going to go over this again, and I'm going to show you what these look like, okay? We have... Black Moon Lilith, this is the symbol for Black Moon Lilith mean, the average of the true zigzag movements or oscillations of the mathematical calculations of the moon's apogee. Then we have Black Moon Lilith oscillating or true is the zigzag movements or oscillations of the mathematical calculations of the moon's apogee. Now we're going to show you the Dark Moon Lilith Wald Waldemath. Dark Moon Lilith Waldemath. Now Dark Moon is opposed to Black Moon. And it, it, what it is, it is, the, it is described as another mysterious second moon orbiting the Earth, which various individuals have said that they have actually physically seen, which has not yet been proven object objectively by science. Okay, that's this one, Waldemath. It's called Waldemath or Dark Moon Lilith or Dark Moon Lilith Waldemath as opposed to Black Moon Lilith. Dark Moon, Black Moon, and Dark Moon uh, Waldemath. Okay, the circle with the line through it. Now, there's also Asteroid Lilith. This is the fourth one. Asteroid Lilith is a physical asteroid which has been proven objectively by science, the asteroid Lilith. Then there is even a, a fifth one, again, and this is the, the Hebrew Lilith star. We're going to bring it in so closer so that you can see the sigil. A friend of mine recently made a sigil of this, and he posted it in a, in a group that I'm in, a magical group that I'm in, and uh, he showed me how this looks. Yeah, he's very interested in this algal symbol. Now, the Hebrew star Lilith is yet another Lilith up in the night sky. This star is also named Demon Star Algol. Algol. Right, right here. This is the sigil for Algol. This is the sigil right here magical sigil which is the head of the gorgon medusa it's the head of the gorgon medusa okay 
and it's found in the constellation of Perseus. Now Perseus, who is similar to the archangel Michael, uh, beheaded Medusa here to slay the Kraken so that he could rescue his love Andromeda from being sacrificed to the Kraken. In Greek legend, the Stygian witches told the hero, hero Perseus that he could turn the Kraken to stone if the sea monster beheld the head of the Gorgon Medusa, which this is this, Algol or Hebrew Lilith. That's where it is, okay? And up in the night sky. So it's a real physical star. So I thought you would like to see what the, what the symbols look like and also understand the stories behind all of these various, I think, very interesting issues about Black Moon Lilith and Waldemath Lilith and also Asteroid Lilith and the Dark Star Lilith, the Demon Star Lilith, and the head of, of Medusa and in the constellation of Perseus. And it's at 26 degrees Taurus in everybody's chart. And uh, my friend who, who is really, he really likes this, he really enjoys studying Al, Al Gold. He, he had uh, mentioned that his name's Jin Gold and he had mentioned that, he has a, another name uh, on some, one, some of his other groups, he's called Kurt Terse. And he had told me that the, this is a very good, that the Algol or Demon Star Lilith, Hebrew Lilith sigil is very, it's very good for, for if you, if you want to make money or, or have things like, uh, yeah, he, he told me, I wrote it down, but he told me that it was, he said it was good for, it was good for leg legacies and, and it was good for inheritance and it was good for fame. But it, it's, especially if, if it's rising, but it's bad for love be, because it it's, makes a person foolish and unfortunate in love. Uh, and when it's, when it's bright, it's good for war, he said. So you can check out, you can check him out on Facebook because he has a nice sigil that he made of that. His might look a little different from mine, but this is what I've, I found. I got his notes um, that he sent me in an email, and then I also, I also uh, had another in my notes from from another friend of mine named named Warlock Marky or Marky um, Alvis Ambrosio. He he's another very good friend of mine. who's a, another magician friend of mine. And he said it looks like, like this. I'm not sure if those look the same. But you can check them out on Facebook because they have a lot of information on, on this, these kinds of magical things. All right. The information found in this document is based on the oral tradition, also in this video, based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. Please like and also uh, like, tap the bell for notifications. Share, subscribe, and make friendly comments. Thank you for joining us, and please join us again.